Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a VPN on Kodi for the Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. To set up a VPN on Kodi, you will need to download some files and transfer them over to your Raspberry Pi. Now to do this, you just need a USB key. Pretty much any USB key will do as these files are not very big. Secondly, you will need a VPN. Now I do recommend two different VPNs. I like them so much that I decided to become affiliated with them and that is Surfshark here as well as Private Internet Access. I will leave links to both PIA and Surfshark in the description below. If you click on one of those links and do order, it does directly help out this channel. Now to set things up, the first thing we need to do is to download the Zumbadi repository. I will leave a link to this in the description below. This is the file that you will need to put on your USB key and then plug into the Raspberry Pi. The file is less than a megabyte. For this tutorial, I am using Surfshark. If you are using a different VPN, maybe ExpressVPN or PIA or IPVanish or something, feel free to skip ahead in this video. If you have a Surfshark account, head over into your account, go to Devices, and then head down to Manual. So from here, this is where you will want to download your specific VPN files for Kodi. If you want to choose a specific server, you can. For me, I'm going to choose the server that's actually closest to me. You can either choose TCP or UDP. If you're looking for speed, I'd recommend going the UDP route. These files are not very big at all. Download these files and put them on your USB stick. And don't close this Surfshark page either. If you scroll down on this page just a little bit, there are some service credentials that you will either need to write down or keep up to reference later. Now, once you've got Kodi booted up, head over into the settings menu, head over into the system menu. My head's just covering it, I'll get out of the way. And from here, make sure you go into add-ons and then unknown sources make sure you check it to on because we will need to install that add-on you put on the USB key and plugged into your Raspberry Pi. Now to install the repository from the USB stick onto the Raspberry Pi. There are different ways to get to this menu, but I'm just gonna show you one way here. Just go to system, then add-ons, and then click install from zip file. From here, we want to select our USB stick that we just plugged in. So it is the repository.zombodied.plugins-1.00.zip. So I will select that. All you have to do is click it and it will automatically install the repository. Now give that a second to finish installing. Once it finishes, click install from repository. From here, we want to go to Zombodied add-on repository. It's listed now because we just installed it. From here, click Services, and then click VPN Manager for OpenVPN. From here, I'm covering the button. I'll try to get out of the way. Maybe I'll just drag my, my picture out of the way here. Click Install from this menu here, and it will automatically install your OpenVPN Manager. Now to configure this for Surfshark, you will need to exit out of the wizard and then open VPN Manager manually. From here, we go to the button that says Configure. Once you've entered your username and password credentials, scroll down just a little bit. Now it says UDP recommended. If you downloaded TCP credentials, select TCP. For me, I want UDP because those were the credentials I downloaded. Now click on User Defined Import Wizard. So it will come up with an option here. Just select OK. Then it will say any existing user defined settings and files will be deleted. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. From here, select directory, and we want to select our USB key that is plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Notice how there are no files here. Just from here, select OK. Now you are given an option here. You can select no or yes. For this video, I'm going to select yes and let it do its own thing. Now once that has completed, head over to your VPN connections, click on first VPN connection. It should automatically start doing some things. Hopefully it works to this point. The next step will come up with this box here to select your first VPN profile. For this, just select the Surfshark option right here in the middle. If you've connected successfully, you will receive this message. If you didn't connect successfully, double check your credentials to make sure you entered everything properly. On top of that, if you still have issues, try redoing the whole process from scratch. But anyways, that is all I have for today. So if you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.